This is a robot vacuum I got to do my bidding and clean my floors. I named it Pookie because sometimes it calls out for help to manually untangle it if it accidentally eats some cables. And I get to walk around my apartment yelling, It usually works great and I love it, but I have a section of tile floor in my apartment and it's not very smooth. Pookie runs on two motorized rubber wheels which usually stay pretty quiet, but the third wheel is this little caster wheel that's for some reason made of the hardest plastic known to man. So when Pookie goes over these bumps it sounds like a construction site. And I see absolutely no reason why this wheel has to be hard plastic so let's do something about it. I popped it off and I took the wheel out to take some measurements and I drew it up in CAD in Fusion 360. Now I had three changes that I wanted to make to this wheel. Number one, print it out in something flexible like TPU, TPE, or silicone. Number two, hollow it out, and number three, add a volumetric lattice inside of it just to maintain some rigidity. Here's the design that I settled on with two components, a hard sleeve to rotate around the pin and the flexible shelled wheel with the lattice inside. I loaded up some NinjaFlex TPE on my Prusa Mark IV and in 20 minutes I had this part printed. For the inner sleeve I went with standard grey resin on the Forum Labs Form 3. Now that I had all of those printed, let's give it a shot. Let's pop that in there, tolerances look and feel good, and it already sounds a lot better. So let's give it back to Pookie and let's give it a go. Instantly, the sound of it going over the tile bumps is noticeably more quiet than the hard plastic one, though I think we could still do a little bit better. While NinjaFlex is great, I think the lattice inside is a little bit too intricate for FDM, so I'm going to try and print this directly in silicone on the Form 3. This is my first time printing in silicone, and I think it's a great part to do it with because you can't achieve lattice structures with other silicone production methods, like casting, for example. But because it was my first time printing with silicone, I greatly underestimated how soft it would be and I ended up with a barely solid wheel, though it was still cool to see. So let's scrap the lattice idea since a solid silicone print should still be plenty soft enough for this application. So I went back to square one, sent the solid wheel off to the printer, here you can see it on the build platform, gave that a nice satisfying peel off, and I threw it in a wash, and then I cured it. And just like I predicted correctly the first time, because I am a perfect human being, the solid version was plenty softer than the NinjaFlex latticed wheel. And as a super scientific test, here's me sticking a mic onto Pookie so that you can compare the three versions that we have. And I know it's a little hard to hear over the vacuum and mop, so here's how they sound side by side by hand. And as always, thank you guys for watching. A special shout out to my few Patreon supporters, your support means a lot. I made it a few months ago and I just moved, so I'm still settling in and I'll soon start rolling out some exclusive content on there. The link's in the description if you're interested in supporting. If not, no worries, just subscribing, liking, and commenting what you think goes a long way too. See you guys in the next one.